Hey guys! Hi guys! So we are back with our latest version of what we ate on our holiday. So this time was from May 2022, where we had a surprise trip, stayed with our families in celebration and had an amazing time at Universal, Disney and all the amazing beaches. And by the way, I'm going to alarm you. Most of our foods were returned, so don't be surprised. <laughs> so day two, we went to Breadbox um, at City Walk and had some absolutely beautiful sandwiches, didn't we, Scarlett? Yeah, they were really good. And Scarlett had um, ham. Ham and cheese. Ham and cheese. I had the brisket, and I think Lindsay had the chicken. Um, all came with tater tots and it was mega delicious. We had a few issues with some customer services, which you saw in the vlog, but overall it was really, really good. Day three, we went across to Universal Studios, a little bit of a, a fun day. We started with ice creams on Diagon Alley, where Lindsay had the salted caramel. Scarlett, did you have chocolate? So we thought I had cookies and cream, but I think Sienna I had cookies and cream. Ah. And I had apple pie. And I've got to say, these were expensive ice creams, but, but were they were absolutely unreal. They were really good. So that evening, just after Grace and Laura and the rest of the gang had arrived, we went to Miller's Ale House. And pretty much everyone had the Zinger Mountain Melt. Scarlett ordered um, macaroni and cheese, but fell asleep. I knew, as you can see, had a, a Caesar salad. And me and Lindsay shared, but we also ordered a bacon cheeseburger. The food was pretty good. Again, service wasn't great on this evening. Uh, and unfortunately, the burger arrived cold. We're told this isn't normal for Miller's and everybody else seems to love it. So we had an okay um, experience. Next day, we were at Volcano Bay and had our favorite flatbread pizzas, mm. chips, and chocolate milkshake. That milkshake. <laughs> but the pizzas are absolutely unreal, guys. You definitely have to have them if you go to Volcano Bay. If you go to Volcano Bay, no negotiating about it, get it. And Lindsay had a watermelon alcoholic cocktail. This evening, me, Alan and the girls went to Polite Pig at Disney Springs. And I've got to say, this was amazing. The girls shared macaroni and cheese. Me and Anya both had the pulled pork and Alan had the meatballs. And I've got to say, me, Scarlett, Anya all gave it a 10. And Alan gave it an 8, which is pretty generous for Alan, isn't it? Yeah. What did you think of Polite Pig, kiddo? It was really good. And also, they didn't make us wait that long. No, it was brilliant. We didn't even have roast. Next day, we're still at Disney Springs and we had our very first experience in store of sprinkles. So the girls both had the rainbow cake. Oh, uh, yes. Lindsay had red velvet and I had salted caramel. We, we got the sprinkles and I definitely love this. This is like probably like the best cake we've ever had. Possibly the best cupcakes outside of what mummy makes. Yeah. Gotta give me brownie points here. Yeah. <laughs> we then that evening went back to Islands of Adventure and had lots of fun there. And in um, Seuss Landing, we actually stopped here for quick service and had what can only say is the biggest slice of pizza you will ever see. Amazing value. So we've got two pieces to split between the five of us, which as you can see here, Lindsay really, really didn't enjoy it. What did you think, Scarlett? Loved it, literally. But literally, we hadn't even like, we were still at the till and we literally started eating it because we literally needed to try it. Super tasty. And then Scarlett had a, um, a, 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 a slushie with every type of flavour and then you had the apple and both were super, super refreshing. It's like goose juice and stuff. That night we had to do a random because we had to find somewhere that could fit us in um, for evening meal and we went to Confisco Grill. Again, service wasn't brilliant pretty slow but the the restaurant was lovely as you can see Scarlett loved her mac and cheese it seems to be a common theme on this trip Scarlett that you had mac and cheese everywhere we went can I just say this restaurant gave me a lion vibe <laughs> it did yeah I had the most tender and succulent ribs I think I've ever eaten they were really really tasty and Lindsay had a BLT with no tea and had onions instead so as I say food was absolutely beautiful but we waited ages for it to arrive Next day, we're at the beach in um, Clearwater. And after having lots of fun on the beach, we walked up to Kilwins, where 
oh my goodness, the amount of fudge and cakes that they had in this place were unreal. But we settled on the ice creams, and as you can see, Scarlett had one that was bigger than a head. Auntie Lisa's was not quite as big as a mouth, um, and they were amazing. And that evening, clearly for the food guys, uh, we went to Hooters, and Alan was obviously really not looking forward to attending this place. Um, all about the wings in Hooters. We shared the boneless chicken, we had the chicken wings, we had the curly fries, we had the tater tots. Sienna had um, the uh, boneless chicken and Scarlett had an amazing hot dog and the kids meals came in free space. Mm -hmm. It was then time to return to Disney, wasn't it Scarlett? And where did we start in Disney? Dolwit! Dolwit Malawa Isle. We had a Dolwit float, but we also had a special one. I can't remember the name of it, but it was Dolwit with mango juice and it had a confetti cake pop on the side. We then finally gave him, we've been wanting to try them for a long time and we went for the spring rolls and we got both kinds. So we got the cheeseburger spring rolls and the 50th anniversary spring rolls, which have pastrami in them. My favorite was the pastrami one. What about you, Scarly? didn't try them. Did you not try either of them? No. I thought you tried the cheeseburger one. No. Oh, well, the cheeseburger one was like having a hamburger from McDonald's. So they were amazing. We then chilled out watching the parade and it was time for another snack. A classic, Casey's hot dog, which was about 12 foot long. Lindsay got some chili on the side to dip in and we shared that between four of us as a snack and it was amazing. Six of us. No, the girls didn't have any. Oh, yeah. We then moved over on the monorail to our favourite resort, Polynesian, and went for a quick service at Captain Cook's to have a little bit of chill time. Scarlett and Sienna had the chicken nuggets for tenders, which are amazing at Disney, aren't they? Me and Lindsay yeah. both had the bacon cheeseburger. Mm. And for a quick service burger, this was delicious. So, little tip for you guys. If you need a little bit of a rest from the hustle and bustle, even if you're going to have a quick service, Go and try some of those hotels around Magic Kingdom. Because they really are really good. Our final day, Grace's birthday, we went to the local di American diner in celebration and all had a proper American breakfast, which I've got to say, guys, get away from the park some days and make sure you go and find an American diner. This one here in the center of celebration was delicious. We had mm. eggs, we had omelets, we had bacon. Tater. I also had a waffle. You had the American waffles, didn't you? And then just to ease the pain of having to go home after having a little bit of time in Universal, we got ourselves some Voodoo Donuts, which we took to the airport and had some absolutely delicious Voodoo Donuts. Well, I had the Butterfinger, Lindsay had the Maple, Sienna had the M&M. &M. What did you have, Scarlett? The Cookies and cream, which is called dirt, but it really is not like dirt. It's like literally heaven. It really was good. So lots and lots of different foods for you there to try when you go on your trip to Orlando, guys. If you want to see our actual scores, you need to watch the series. You'll see lots and lots of things, including watching a rocket ship go up in the sky. We had an amazing time. And Scarlett? Make sure you like, subscribe, and smash that notification bell. And comment down below what your favorite meal and our favorite snack we had was. Bye, guys. Bye.